guys so I am literally just waking up right now um, I'm getting the day started but I wanted to kick off this video because this is something I have been waiting to do for literally months now I've been teasing it on Twitter keep talking about it saying like oh my god two more months to go one more month to go one more week to go and today is the day and if you couldn't already tell by the title of this video I'm getting another tattoo this will be my seventh tattoo. I don't know how many of you guys know how much I love tattooing. I thought it would be really fun to do like a really quick tattoo tour of my body to show you guys what I already have. And then, yeah, we're going to do a vlog. You guys can come along with me. Brian and I are going into Manhattan. Uh, we're going to do brunch. And then we are going to the shop Grit and Glory in the Lower East Side. And I'm going to get tattooed by this absolutely incredibly badass woman named Janice Danger, who I think is so fucking cool. So, yeah, I'm going to make some coffee now. I'm going to go get ready. And we gotta get a uh, move on pretty soon, but I'm gonna show you really quickly my other tattoos. My first tattoo was on my ankle. I got it when I was 20 or 21, and I was in Australia. It was my first tattoo. It's a butterfly. I love it. It's not the some of these are not the best artwork because <laughs> I did draw some of these myself. But yeah, I had like really wanted it. It's cliche, but uh, all my tattoos mean certain things to me, and so I won't take too much time explaining them. But I will show you my ankle. <laughs> So that's that. Then my next one was on my foot. We have a compass on my foot. That I got right after I graduated college. I was in a sorority, our symbol was the compass, so compasses mean a lot of different things to me. So that was my second tattoo. And those were done by different people, obviously, my ankle in Australia. And then my foot and my ribs were done by the same artist in Albany, New York. My third tattoo is a sugar skull. I am obsessed with sugar skulls, with Dia de los Muertos, with Halloween. like obsessed so I knew I wanted a sugar skull. I actually found a similar design on Pinterest and then I drew up some changes and then the artist filled in the skull himself. Um, there are definitely some things I would change about it but I still love it. You can't change them. My fourth tattoo was my on my wrist which is the most visible. You guys probably see this all the time and it says uh, go with the flow. It's a little hard to read but this is by John Boy. Um, he's a celebrity tattoo artist at Bang Bang Tattoos in the city. And then John Boy also did the back of my arm. So I have one right here which says say a prayer. Um, this one did not come out great. I'm not gonna lie. Like he went really really light with it. So the fading has been pretty bad for two years. This one he definitely did thicker. Um, so I'm a little upset because I spent a lot of money. Looking back in retrospect was ridiculous. But um, this one actually means the most because it's for my grandpa who passed away. So anyway my sixth and final tattoo. That one's a little scandalous. Uh, it goes down the side of my left hip and it says she dances to the songs in her head. Part of a poem and yeah that couldn't more accurately describe me. I obviously am in love with music and dancing and it just is how I express myself and a huge part of my life. Um, so that one actually came out impeccably. That was done by Hector at Bang Bang Tattoos in New York. Again very expensive, very worth it. It's my most well done tattoo out of everything. He specializes in calligraphy. So yeah so those are my six. Today I am going to be getting roses on my forearm which is going to be black and gray so I'm not going to say anything else. I haven't seen any drawings. We'll see them today in the shop. Those are my tattoos. Now you guys know a little bit more about me. They're all very personal to me and I love them. And let's go get ready for the day. This is take two. Uh, take one, I didn't, <laughs> I ran out of washer fluid in my car, so we couldn't see out of my window, so we went to Duncan, and then decided to turn around, and then I forgot sunglasses, I forgot everything. I forgot my hair headphones again. Really? Uh-huh. Anyway, so, <laughs> put all the headphones. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. I think I'm excited and I'm nervous and I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to get brunch, but we'll see how much time we have to
We're at the shop now, I'm so nervous and excited, very nervous. It's beginning stage. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> okay guys, we're halfway done. I gotta get this guy. It hurts a lot. <laughs> Um, a McChicken. <laughs> yeah. And a ten-piece chicken nugget with barbecue. All right. That's all. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are back home. Just stuffed my face with a ton of McDonald's because <laughs> I'm starving. But here it is again. So this like wrapping stuff that they have on here is a new thing. I've never had this with any of my tattoos, but um, yeah, it basically helps me skip the ointment phase and I wear this for four days straight. Um, and then I go to washing it with soap, antibacterial soap and unscented lotion so yeah i think that's really cool because i just have to keep this on it it's like really tightly wrapped and you can see like how red it is it really really hurts <laughs> it definitely hurts. i get to wear this for four straight days and then um it'll start to heal anyway i'm just gonna do a super quick wrap up of the vlog right now i can't really like i'm trying not to bend my arm too much but I absolutely love this tattoo. This is probably my favorite tattoo that I've ever gotten. Um, I just have to say like really do your research if you guys are thinking about getting tattoos because it really pays off if you find the right person whose style you love um, and it's like a collaborative effort and I truly just like loved Janice's style and I knew she specialized in florals and I had wanted roses for a really, really long time um, and I just knew it was gonna be her. The shading was called whip shading, which I had never heard of before but it's incredibly beautiful and very well detailed. The shop was incredible. Sorry, I look so gross right now. I've been like, I was like sweating in that chair. It really hurt. I will say on a scale of like one to 10, um, I have my ribs done and my foot done. Those were worse, but this was more painful than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and I have a pretty high pain tolerance. I'd say it was probably like a six out of 10, six and a half maybe. Um, it, was, it was painful, but worth it. It took about two and a half hours to actually do the tattoo, but we were there for a while longer. Um, because she had to draw it out and then she hand drew the stencils of the leaves on me. She had a couple more leaves up in there and I took a couple out because I'm like not huge on the leaves, but they're actually really, really beautiful. So yeah, I would highly recommend the shop, Grit and Glory. Everyone there was super nice. One of the owners of the shop, Megan Massacre, who was on I think like New York Inc and a bunch of those shows um, was there. She's super cool. I recommend it. The customer service is amazing. Janice was amazing. I recommend her. It was a really awesome experience. I would 1000% go back. The pricing was really, really fair. Um, I've been ripped off on some of my other tattoos before. I hope you, ow. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, enjoyed getting tattooed with me. I can give you guys some updates on how it heals. You guys can follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot of pictures and videos there. See you guys in my next video. Bye.